are in Epcot. It is the festival of the holidays. Arguably the best festival. But I also really like the art festival. Okay. We just took some pictures. It actually worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to. I just set the tripod up, had it taking pictures on a burst, and I think they came out really cute. Bunny literally <laughs> just laid down and tried to take a nap, but still cute. Okay, our next order of business after picture taking is to go get the scavenger hunt map. I haven't done this one. The only scavenger hunt I have done was Pluto's Pumpkin Pursuit. So this is a new tradition. Oh, speaking of tradition. Olaf's Tradition Expedition. We're gonna go get that. Let's go. Okay, the map was acquired. I love that they're different shapes. I don't know. Little things like that just make me happy. But it looks like it is all around the world showcase. So we're going to hang on to this for now. First stop or first ride I should say is living with the land. We got a decent line forming at living with the land but honestly not too bad. Let's get down. Look at the snow run. Or Sand family, sure. I guess. It's difficult to imagine. <laughs> Look at this. So cute. It's the bananas and the reef for me. Look at. Well, it's not so hidden. Thank you. But look at that! Extra special stocking stuff. Reindeer Mickey Bush? During Chinese New Year, these vibrant fruits so are given as gifts of good fortune. This is an adorable little addition to living with the land. Funny thing so too. And in this greenhouse, we're celebrating the holidays by giving back to the land using innovative farming techniques. Celebrate crops important to holiday traditions around the world in our glimmering greenhouse. With these gifts, Look at our that. Team grows a bountiful 15 tons of produce each of the holidays with the land's many gifts. So festive. <laughs> Those cast members better get presents in those stockings. They deserve it. Just got off living with the land. Now I am eating the sandwich I packed in this cute Mickey Mouse Ziploc. Ziploc? Ziploc. I can see. Alrighty, we are exiting. Goodbye, the land. I believe our next stop is Big Mint. I just want to see him in his Christmas sweater. I don't know why I think that's such an adorable idea. I mean, because it is an adorable idea. Goodbye. Usually, Pooh Bear hangs out right here. Doesn't look like he's out, but it is also the way to the service dog spot. A nice little spot to just hang out, escape the crowds, get in some shade. One of Bunny's favorite spots, obviously. You ready to go, Bunny? <laughs> Imagination Institute. Watch, nice squeeze. There she is! Weebo! Kate and I literally watched Flubber this past week because I bought the Flubber mug off of Shop Disney. My favorite purchase yet. There he is. 
Professor Phillips. I told you not to interfere. But you got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening. He has a sweater on here, too. All right, <laughs> we have conquered Figment. I, now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot to go check if Winnie the Pooh came out, but that's okay. It is time to make our way to the World Showcase so we can do Festival of the Holidays and the scavenger hunt, which I guess is part of the festival. Duh. You can see the tree. You can hear a bit of the performance that's going on. I love that. Wouldn't it be an awesome shot if the monorail came across right now? Also, another great day to go. The temperature is just perfect this time of year. December, January, February, my favorite time. Approaching the tree. She is huge as our all the trees here in Disney, but I just love all of the happy holidays in different languages. I think that's so cute. And now that I think about it, I need to go get a selfie with Olaf, especially in my Frozen shirt. We have this performance going on right now. in Olaf but again holiday decorations are just so pretty look at those garlands also the world showcase today is glowing all right we are headed inside I don't know if Olaf is actually inside but I don't see him out here they have some extra little booths out and the kid cot area this is crazy although i don't think olaf is in here i'm happy i stopped in though let's head back out i have not found olaf but i have found the mariachi bin I totally did not find the Olaf, but I've made it to Norway. So we're going to go meet Anna and Elsa first. And then we'll go back and find their best pal, Olaf. <laughs> we have the family and Elsa and Anna. Happy. There we go. <laughs> we just finished meeting them. <laughs> Bunny literally just rolled all over the carpet because it was nice and soft. <laughs> Good job, Bunny. But Elsa was so sweet she got down i never want to like shove the camera in the characters like faces but it's just it's so sweet meeting them hold on lighting has to adjust let's see oh there it is yeah i never want to like shove the camera in their faces that's not what they're there for but i still enjoy going and just talking to them and it's, it's just always like the funnest of conversations elsa made bunny a personal flurry because bunny really likes the snow and she loved how cool it felt in there. And Anna appreciated my shirt and that's all I could ask for. <laughs> now we need to go find Olaf. And not the big Olaf, but 
as I said that I found him. I can't believe I missed that coming in. There he is. The first Ola. He is holding the point. Poinsettias, festive poinsettias are presented in striking arrangements to celebrate the holidays. I don't know why that sticker was so difficult to get off, but we got it. Back to Norway. Also, it says a 40 minute wait, but it was definitely much shorter than that. If there's no line outside, I'd say you're safe to get in line. Look at that. And as we're speaking, it goes down to 20. That's definitely more accurate. Not Olaf, but I always love coming in here. Gotta go see my man, Loki. There he is. My favorite god. Hi, Loki. Just did a quick walkthrough. I just always love saying hi to my guy. Hi to my guy. We need to go say hi to Olaf. I feel like he's gonna be back here. Not Olaf. But found Kristoff and Frozen, you can't see it there, but it's a 95 minute wait. It's always a long one. This one is so much harder than the pumpkin one. I found him though. Bunny sit. Stay sit. The key to this is looking up, which I'm not good at because I'm short. And I'm always looking down at you. <laughs> <laughs> it is the straw decorations. Goats made of straw guard Christmas trees as the holidays draw nearer. Ooh, maybe we need one of these to keep the cats out of our tree. I actually just saw Kyle. I didn't stop though because he's with his family and I never want to interrupt someone with their family. Can't interrupt family time. But we are headed into China. Let's go. I'm looking up this time. Oh, look at the moon. But watch this be the time that Olaf is on the ground. Oh, is that him? Oh. My intuition was right. He is on the ground this time. <laughs> Smiling so big though. This one is pretty well hidden. I believe this one is the floating lanterns. Floating lanterns fill the night skies, marking the beginning of the new year. Yep, that would make sense. Third Olaf found, and I actually helped someone. I'm becoming a pro now. <laughs> I also really enjoy the gardens in China. They are so peaceful and so beautiful, but it is off to Germany. Um, birds literally just flew right into us, but we found another performance here in Germany. Oh, Kate would be so upset he's messing with us. Also, this little stage is decorated so beautifully. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I love this. I have a feeling Olaf is gonna be up here. Let us see. Why do I keep singing? I mean, I'm a music teacher, that's why, but I don't know. Maybe it's the nerves, I don't know. I was wrong. He's in a window. This looks like the Candy Canes one. The first ever Candy Canes are said to have been given as gifts from a choir master. Cute. That's like me. Trains feel festive to me. It's also just so cool how they do this. Look at him go. Oh. Another one's coming. This one's fast. Whee! 
I believe this is the line for the candlelight processional in America. Wow, this is crazy. I don't know who the celebrity narrator is today, but I'm trying to come back for when it's Josh Gad, Olaf himself. That would be the perfect <laughs> finale to today's day, <laughs> searching for Olaf's. Okay, so I'm not crazy. He wasn't in the big main part of Italy. He is up there. It appears to be that I cannot pronounce that. Someone else can tell me how to pronounce it in the comments. But many bakers prepare a zesty fruitcake called Benettone. I have no idea. As a delectable holiday treat. It's not really focusing very well, but it's the fruitcake. Look at that. The line even goes back there. We're going to have to get here extra early the day that it is Josh Gad. So as we enter the American Pavilion, there are two Olafs in this section. One at the America Garden Theaters, which is this theater, and one at the American Event Adventure, I could speak, which is right up ahead. I think we're gonna go to the American Adventure first. Also, big tree, big tree in the distance. Honestly, I would have missed this Olaf if I didn't overhear someone say, look at the little Olaf, because this it's not the American Adventure, but we found them. So the American Adventure was the carols. Children of all ages ring in the most joyous time of the year by singing Cherish Carols. How lovely. Now I have a feeling that the other one isn't going to be quite where I expect it to be. I don't think it's actually down there by the theater. I was thinking it was going to be up here, but I don't see him. I didn't find him yet, but I did find Big Tree. Big Tree. And look who's with the Big Tree. If it isn't, Ola. This map is really misleading. Just stopped to speak to a very nice family, but the other American one was the, I don't want to mess that up, Canara? It's not focusing, not focusing. Hold on, that's much better. The seven days of Kwanzaa are celebrated with seven candles to symbolize struggle, hope, and the people of Africa. That, that's awesome. I ripped her a bit switching it, but it definitely makes more sense that the carols is for the theater. <laughs> and then the Kanara, the candles for Kwanzaa is for the American adventure. I am smart, I promise. I have a strange feeling that this one's gonna be difficult for me. I don't know why. An intuition. I've been mistaken, pleasantly mistaken. It was much easier to find than I anticipated. Look at him. <laughs> I just can't get over his face. <laughs> it's so smiley. <laughs> Love to see it. For Japan, we have the Kagami Mochi. Many families decorate for the new year with festival kagami mochi made from rice. Not focusing as well as I would like, but look how cute it is with the little orange. You only on. have a handful left to go. Literally five. We're on a roll. I said it earlier, but the World Showcase is glowing today. I do not think it's this far back, but we're walking back here anyway. Checking out the atmosphere. Okay, he wasn't back there, which means he has to be out here somewhere, probably on a rooftop. That is my guess. I believe this is the Morocco one. It's awfully close to the next one but I think the next one is actually over there by the booth. So I'm, I'm gonna put it down as Morocco. All right, so he was holding olives. December is the time to give thanks for the harvest with a lively olive festival. I personally do not like olives, but good for them. There is also a Hanukkah storyteller, story timer. 
That's what I was about. I was right. The last one was Morocco because here is the next one. Right on top of the booth. It makes sense that he has dreidels. Dreidels. Many families celebrate Hanukkah by playing with four-sided spinning tops called dreidels. Beautiful. Sugar did not want to come with me. He is all beat up now. I'm so sorry. We are in France. Only three more Olafs to go. Look at these giant ornaments. Oh, it's hollow. Oh, how cute. The window displays are gorgeous. Everything is gorgeous. Very pretty little path, but we have not found Olaf. Still no Olaf in France, but there's a shop. And then be extra quiet. <gasps> okay, I definitely want to watch this one. Roast goose, pate, le fromage. We are waiting in line for a photo with the French Santa. I don't know how to say it properly in France, but I found the Olaf. Although I can't see what he's holding. All right, now that we got a closer look, we can see he has Yule Log. Yule Log. In winter, many families place Yule Logs on the hearth to bring good luck as they cozy up around the fireplace. We don't need that here in Florida. Two more to go. Look at this window display. How cute. I'm obsessed. Had a nice long stroll around the United Kingdom because I totally missed Olaf when we were walking up the first time. Wow. It is getting darker, but this is the holiday crackers. Around many dinner tables, holiday crackers explode to reveal festive surprises. How cute. Maybe it is just my map, but the stickers have been so difficult to get off and place. Like I am bending this map all over the place and I can't get the stickers off. Part is part of the scavenger hunt. Who would have thought? Who would have guessed? Also, the United Kingdom's still jamming. There we go. Wow, that was hard to balance, but last one, how, what? It's been a long day. The last Olaf has been spotted, has been found, and it is indeed the gingerbread man. See, I told you it was hard to balance. Here's a little bit better of a view. Oh, nope. It decided, nah, I don't want to focus on Olaf. It is dark. Gotta get the flash out. Gingerbread. Young and old delight in baking and decorating sugary gingerbread cookies. I actually am not a huge gingerbread fan in terms of taste. Looks, love it. Taste, mm, I'm indifferent, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, <laughs> we did it. Let's go turn around. Those look like the prizes. Honestly, I, I don't know which one I want. Ooh, I'm torn. Okay, so we let Bunny choose, and she chose Sven, because she's like my reindeer guiding me. How cute, Bunny, do you like him? We can put your treats in there. She was like, yeah, Mom, it's been a long day, but I heard from the cast member that Sven has chosen the least. So, guys, fellow tots, go show some love to Sven. He deserves it. But look at that. Also got our complete well done. I hope it was correct. I mean, it it should be. The only one I'm like iffy about is like where the two America placements go. But like I said, it makes sense for the carols to be on the garden theater circle. Words are hard. <laughs> on another note, the lights making me feel warm and fuzzy inside. 
I'm obsessed with Christmas trees. I think we are gonna call it a night. I did almost everything I wanted to do. The only thing I didn't accomplish was Guardians and that's because I didn't wake up to get the virtual queue. It's all good though. <laughs> Oh. Goodbye, Epcot. Thank you for a festive day. Big golf ball. <laughs> okay, fellow tots, as we head back to the car, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I need to start doing that more. I will get better as I get more into the flow of vlogging and talking to the camera but thank you for watching like comment subscribe so that i can do more of these with bonnie bonnie says thank you as well and that's what matters most one last look whoa you ready to go